Hello world, it is Megan in this super bad lighting of a room. It's my brother's room and there's not very good lighting, but his room is clean and mine is not. And he has a spinny chair, so yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing um, four different hairstyles that you can wear to dance. So this is one of them, I'll show you how to do it. It's like a bun, the bow, and the twisty thing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Tomorrow I'm going to be making a video of um, Instagram controls my day. I know, super original. Anyway, so that will be tomorrow's video. That might not be posted tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know if this could be posted today. I don't know what my upload schedule is going to be. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and then let's get started. I'm not very good at explaining things, so we'll just see how this goes, but I'm just dividing the front pieces of my hair so that I can get the back into a ponytail so we have a nice base for what we want to do. So once I get that up into the ponytail, I'm just going to take the front pieces out and divide it onto the side. You can do it in the middle too, I just like it more on the side. And there's just this one darn, stupid darn hair that just keeps getting in the way during the during this part of the video so you'll see that see there's that hair and I put it back in its spot and it never bothered us again so now that I've smoothed out those two side front pieces I'm just going to twist them all the way down getting new grabbing more hair as I go down and then once I get all the way down I'm just going to twist the rest of it in a normal twist and then I'm just going to connect it to the ponytail Then I'm going to do that to the other side, starting from the top, grabbing more hair as I go down, and then finishing it off and attaching it to the ponytail. You can wear this hair in a bun or a ponytail. I showed you it with a ponytail. I just added a cute little white bow. And then with a bun, once again, same white bow. Super cute. Next thing I'm going to be showing you is this braided ponytail type thing. I think it kind of looks like a mohawk. I think it looks pretty cool. So basically what I did was I took a top front part of my hair and made kind of a triangle part with it and then I took the rest of my hair and got it out of the way into a ponytail at the bottom of my neck head thing and then I'm just going to start to dutch braid the section that is out for the top rectangle part and if you don't know how to dutch braid I'm going to link a video in the description so that you can learn and do this hairstyle because I'm not very good at explaining how to dutch braid or really explain how to do anything. So once I finish the braid, I'm just going to put the rest of my hair into a simple ponytail where the braid ends. And usually I flip my head upside down when I do um, ponytails, so that's why I was kind of struggling. And then I was like, yeah, I have to flip my head upside down in order to do this. So yeah, that is the finished part, and then I just added a little bow, and then I just did a messy bun after that, and I'll show you how to do just the normal messy bun. That's the last hairstyle that we do, and that's the messy bun. I just put the bow in the back of the head instead of the front. So now we're going to the braided bun, French braided bun thing, and if you don't know how to French braid, then once again I will link a video down below so you can learn and do this hairstyle and it's all good. So I'm starting with a side part and I'm just getting a section of hair at the top and we're just going to be doing the French braid onto one side. So I'm just dividing it into three and doing a French braid all the way until the bottom of my ear mostly, like a few inches past my ear.
And you want to make all make sure all these hairstyles are super tight so that they stay. If you're not super good at like getting your hair super tight in these like braids and stuff, you should practice a lot and it also helps to grab smaller sections when you're braiding because it makes it look a lot neater and tighter and it also makes it a lot tighter. And then once I braid all the way down, I just put everything into a little side ponytail, which I made into a side bun afterward. And um, any bumps that you have, you can kind of just pin them down. Like this was a really big bump. I just stuck a pin in it into the braid so that I, yeah, I can't explain things. I'm so sorry, guys. And then I just put a little bun with a bow. And I'm making weird faces. Okay, so last thing is the messy bun, which I kind of showed in the braided bun thing, but yeah. Um, so I just start with a ponytail, and it's really good to start with a ponytail so you have a good base so you don't go straight into the bun. But basically what you're going to do is start as if you're doing a ponytail and loop it two times around, and then the third time around you're just going to pull the hair a few inches through. And you just kind of play around with it and then I just pin down the two sides. I haven't done that yet, but I'm just going to pin down the two sides so that um, it stays and it's not like, it does, like none of like the pieces hanging out come out. So I just tuck it and then I'm going to pin it and I do that with both sides and I just added a cute bow at the end can't really see it yet. I added a cute bow at the end. I love this bow. I think it's super cute. And that's all the hairstyles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video very, very, very much. Um, this is my first video. Uh, I thought this shirt was very appropriate for the video since it was dance hairstyles. Um, yeah, I think this is also a great video for girls that have shorter hair like I do. Like my hair only goes to like shoulder length and maybe like when it's super wavy a little bit higher. So I basically have a bob and um, yeah, so I'm just showing like girls with short hair can do hairstyles like this and all the other ones that I show but it does help that if you have thicker hair like I do because I just have a lot of hair that I can use even though it's super short but although I I do have to like put my like a pin in my hair when I do like ponytails and high buns and stuff then that's the way that it stays and then you can just hide it with a bow or something and make it super cute so I hope that these unique hairstyles for dance can help you have ideas for class so you don't just have to go with a boring ponytail or a boring bun so yeah hope you guys enjoyed I know that um, if I was someone watching this video it would be super helpful for me because I always look at videos like cute hairstyles for dance, cute hair hairstyles for gymnastics, cute, cute cheerleading hairstyles see if anything helps not really anything has helped it's just like basic ballet bun or like braided ballet bun well that doesn't help me and a lot of it is on longer haired girls so i really hope this video was helpful for everyone so yeah hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe i don't know what i'm doing with my hands gang signs so yeah bye